As quickly as possible, I'm going to run you guys through my GH5 photography setting. So to start out, we'll open up the menu and I'm going to show you guys a setting that's very important for me at least, and it's the auto review. I want to make sure that my auto review is on and I can put it to any time that you want. I choose two seconds. That means when I take a photo, it's going to stay on my screen there for two seconds and I'll be able to see it and that is very helpful. The next setting, just under auto review in this I menu, you will find constant preview. And you want constant preview on, or at least I do, because it shows me on my screen as I make changes, my image will actually get darker. When it's off, you won't see that change until you take a photo. So those are two very important settings to start out for photography. And then we will go up here into the photo area and I will show you my settings here. So aspect ratio, I shoot 4.3 because that uses uh, as much as the sensor, as much of the sensor as possible. And then picture size, I do large 20 because why not? It's the biggest size. I like to shoot in raw and JPEG just to have the options. If you can edit in raw, you're better off to do so. So I would recommend raw, but having JPEG allows me to send the photos from my camera to my phone in the field and just to have the option. Photo style, I shoot Cindy, same as my video stuff. Cindy minus one on contrast, minus five sharpness minus one on saturation, that's how I do it, and that won't affect the raw shots, but it will affect the JPEGs. Um, color space, always RGB, not Adobe, but sRGB. And then metering mode, I have it on the top one, I found it to be the best for me. I dynamic, I keep it at the low setting, and then I have always long shutter. No noise reduction, I keep off, not a huge fan of in-camera noise reduction. Um, Shading compensation off, diffraction compensation off. I keep the burst rate at high, though I very rarely actually use the burst rate on this camera. And for the shutter type, I like the manual shutter over the electronic shutter. I like to hear the actual camera click when I take a photo. But if you're in a, if you're somewhere where you want it to be quieter, put on the e shutter mode and no shutter delay and bracket off down there. And that's pretty much my photography settings for the GH5. If you want a deeper in-depth why behind these settings, I have videos on that, but this is just a quick, as fast as possible, run you through the settings that I use on my GH5 to get photos like the ones that you've seen in this video.